Mike here, Ratliff here, reporting from New York City at the SMX Social Media. How are you, Brent Satoris is here joining with me today. How are you? Doing pretty good, thank you. Good, good. Okay, well, we just had a session um, with Brent on the panel. I'm talking about link baiting. So go ahead and tell us a few tips about where you can start off when you're trying to link bait. Uh, I think the first thing you have to do is you really need to go out to all the different communities. You need to take what it is that you're trying to rank for or what it is that you're trying to sell, and you need to get into those different social communities. You need to find out what's been successful in the past. That's really going to be the spawn of most of your ideas. If you can look at what's been extremely effective and what hasn't been effective, and it can help you actually come up with probably 10 to 20 ideas that will actually work in social media. So that would probably be the first thing I'd do. Um, the second thing I would do is just make sure that it's a valuable piece. Don't don't rush your social media link bait. Take the time to make it something valuable because in the end, like I was saying earlier, in the end, you really want people to link to you. And if they're not, if they don't think your, your stuff's quality, they're not going to link to you. So that would be the two biggest things. Make it a good resource. Get out there and research what's happened in the past within the social communities. Pick the right community to submit to and then follow your submission and interact with it and get your friends involved and get your network involved. Okay, how do you know which is the best community to use? You know, all the panelists were talking a lot about Dig. Um, you know, Stumble Upon was mentioned and Delicious was mentioned, but how do you know which one fits y you best? Most of the time, you know, a lot of the nicher ones are going to tell you. They're going to say, like, we're a site, you know, there's like sites like Hug that's more green. And they're going to tell you right off the bat we're about green issues. There's a site called Skirt, which is about women's issues. And they're going to tell you right off the bat that that's where they're about. Most sites are, it's pretty obvious what they're about. Um, with Dig and a lot of those other sites, it can be about anything as long as you take it to their, their, their platform, their level. Dig is, you know, how would you find out? I guess what you really need to do is go spend some time on their site. Look at their front page and see overall what is the majority of things that have been popular on this site, what has been the most effective, and then kind of gauge it for yourself. There's not really a guide out there that says this is for this and this is for that. Although I can sit here and tell you what each one's for. You know, it's Dig is technology, Reddit's politics, you know, and you can kind of go through the list. But that's just from watching what stories go really well and which stories get killed. Okay, so researching is, is very important for, excuse me, important for the users out there. Um, what are some other tips? You talked about social media tips in general. What are, are some of the things you talked about? Really, some of the, some of the biggest tips for social media is, is being social about it. I mean, really, a lot of people go into it with the mindset of this is like, I'm an SEO. What can I do to game this social media network so that I can get a community, so that I can get the value from it? And what you really have to do is, A, to be honest, to be very honest with you, either A, you're going to hire somebody who's already in there to do it for you, or you're going to go in and you're going to spend the time, the hours and hours and hours, figuring it out and participating and making friends and getting a network going and, and, and really just establishing yourself within that community. So I would suggest, you know, doing a little bit of both. I mean, I, I mean if, you, if you don't necessarily want to create yourself as a social media expert, then you're going to have to pretty much get somebody who is because being a, having a power user is very effective in, in your submissions today. Um, but if you're going to try to just run it on your own and do it on your own, then, you know, the basic tips is to research a lot. You know, find out what has worked, come up with something that will work, find the right community and submit it, and then follow through and get your friends involved. And I mean, it really isn't more complicated than that on the base level. Okay. Um, I know that was kind of a long answer. No, no, no. It was, it was perfect. Um, what are some of the preparations you can do besides research, researching? Um, I know you all talked about servers. How can you prepare yourself for, for what's going to be coming into you? Well, you definitely want to make sure that you, you don't want to have your site look too advertising. The basic premise is, is that you want people to think that you're selling your content, not your ads, not your, your marketing stuff. So you want to make sure that you limit your ads. You want to make sure that you cache your page. You want to make sure that you have a good firewall set up. You want to make sure that your server is, is, is able to take a large amount of traffic. When we talk about a large amount of traffic, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, 30, 40 hits per second. We're talking like 500 to 700 hits per second. Mass volumes, which most of these server companies have never seen before. So a lot of times you need to actually force and make them actually test and guarantee that it's going to be at that level. Beyond that, you need to, you know, the ads off, make sure your server's good, make sure your content's clean, make sure that you, you know, you interact with your users. If you have, if you want them to do your RSS subscription, if that's your goal, make sure that you have that prevalent. If, you know, your goal is to market some other topics, make sure you have related post topics to tie people into your site. Okay, what are some other tips that you recommended um, to actually putting the title out there? I think the biggest tip is to make sure that you have the point. 
a lot of people miss what the point is. They're just trying to be clever, or they're or they're just giving the same title that the the the, the submission had to begin with. But it, what you really need to do is you need to have a title that focuses on the viral point, and 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 you need to have a description that validates that title. Just like you know when you're doing SEO on a site, you have a title, you have a description, and you have header tags that validate it. You need to do the same thing for your article. You need to have a good title. You need to have a description that cleanly and, and follows up that title so that people can get the value from it without actually having to read your article. Because in social media, it's not about getting people to read your article. It's about getting votes and getting links. And, and, and the real people that go search on Google or something and your rankings have increased and they see that article, they're the ones that are going to read the whole thing. So you need to focus in on getting votes. And your title and your description alone should get you the vote without having to have anybody read any further. Okay, what was one more thing that you, you recommended about actually in the title? Um, I, I know oh, you yeah, mentioned I don't yeah. want to give it away. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. There's just so much, you know, sometimes I get overburdened with it. No, you want to make sure that you use capitalization. The first word in, every, in the whole line should be capitalized. And, and it's good to point out that a lot of people can come back and say, oh, well, I've done something that was different than that and it succeeded. You can succeed with anything. It just really depends on the situation. But these are tips that are based on what's going to give you the highest percent chance to succeed. And so if you capitalize the first letter in each sentence, it's much more grabby. You gotta remember there's thousands and thousands of submissions per minute, you know, I mean, it just flies by. So you want something that's gonna grab. Make sure that when you're doing numbers or currencies or something, you'd use the short 25K instead of 25,000. And, and you wanna actually use numerical numbers instead of the words for 10 or 20 or whatever. Those will help you to be a lot more grabby. So. Okay. All right, thank you. Brent Satoris, an online marketing consultant from BrentSatoris.com. Reporting for WebPro News, I'm Kara Ratliff at SMX Social. WebProNews.com, breaking e-business news.